The topic for today is how ultracapacitor is working for automated material handling. As the smart factory and logistic automation systems are becoming more mainstream, the demand for automated material handling machines are getting increasing. These four are the major applications for this area. Let me show you some pictures what they are. Stalker and Rec Masters are the conventional applications where ultracapacitor has been used since around 2010. They are designed to move vertically or horizontally within a storage structure to transport items from one to another locations. These days, the ultracapacitors are expanding in AGV and AMR. They are traveling autonomously throughout a warehouse, distribution center, or manufacturing facility without an onboard operator or driver. Recently, we can see them a lot in warehouse for big markets such as Amazon or Walmart. OHT is overhead hoist transport, which is also recently growing application for ultracapacitor. This is a type of transport system used in semiconductor manufacturing facilities to transport materials and products. The sy system operates on an overhead rail. Okay, so now let me explain how ultracapacitor is working for these applications. Ultracapacitor is used in two ways. First, to use a regenerative braking, and second, as a main power. First, regenerative braking. In Stalker and Regmaster, ultracapacitor can be used as a regenerative braking source, and recently, it's growing in OHT in semiconductor factory. Then why ultracapacitor for regenerative braking? These days, to implement RE100 and net zero, there are increasing need for use of regenerative braking in factories because it can reduce electricity cost. By thinking of how these applications are working, we can understand why ultracapacitor is a solution for this regenerative braking. These machines move short distance, or the size of machines are small, so which means the amount of accumulated energy by deceleration and braking is not that big. So the energy is not enough for battery to use regenerative braking. However, ultracapacitor can capture and use this energy 100% because ultracapacitors rapid charging and discharging allow quick energy absorption and release. So ultracapacitor is capable of efficient use of regenerative braking even its low amounts, no waste of energy. As a result, as I said, it can reduce electricity costs. According to our customers' data, it can be up to from 10 to 20 percent. Cost reduction is not only for the profit, but also to follow the duty of eco production. And main power. In AGV, ultracapacitor can be used as a main power. To understand the purpose of using ultracapacitor in AGV as a main power, let me tell you about the characteristics of AGV. First, AGV must be regularly recharged during the working hours, then which causes downtime. So to reduce this downtime, extra AGVs are needed. For example, one, if 100 AGVs are required for working, then 120 to 130 machines are installed for swapping in charge time. And second, AGV repeatedly moves within fixed area at high speed. This frequent burst of power and continuous energy use keep draining battery life. So regular maintenance and replacement is required based on battery life cycle. Then why ultracapacitor? First, no need extra AGVs, which means it could reduce initial investment costs. Uh, thanks to the ultracapacitor's rapid charging, the downtime cost by charging 
can be reduced. So the number of required machines become less than with, with batteries. And second, it can save maintenance costs because ultra capacitor has 10 to 15 years lifetime and 1 million cycle of charging and discharging. So the replacement cycle becomes longer with ultra capacitors. And last, thanks to its wide operating temperature range, AGV can be installed in a low temperature warehouse for such as food and medicine storage. So this is a brief recap of the presentation. Two ways of using ultra capacitor, regenerative braking and main power. And as you can see this, each has different purpose. This is all for today we have. Uh, thank you for watching my presentation. We'll be back soon with new applications.